The United States and Mexico reaching a joint agreement to fight against fentanyl trafficking. The two countries say that they will work together to disrupt the supply chain of cartels, and they also want to limit the access that drug traffickers have to the financial system. Mexico also hopes the partnership will reduce the number of guns that are smuggled from the U.S. Meanwhile, in our state, Governor Jay Inslee signing a bill to crack down on counterfeit drugs. Our China Green is live in the newsroom with a breakdown of this new law and how it aims to keep communities safe. China? Yeah, so China's law makes a, a felony to buy, sell, or have a pill press machine used to make counterfeit drugs. Now, this bill was named in honor of Tyler Yates. He died after taking a black market Percocet, which turned out to have fentanyl in it. He was on camera at a local casino, taking a pill. He went to sleep, and he took his last breath on that camera. Court documents show two people are now facing charges of controlled substance homicide in connection to Yates' case. Now, recently, fake pills have become a bigger issue in Washington. Earlier this year, the U.S attorney's office announced 27 indictments following a major seizure of 650,000 pills. The indictments came at the end of a years-long investigation conducted via federal wiretap led by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and my office and represents a really significant victory in our ongoing effort to keep our community safe. Legislators say those pills presses are being used to manufacture thousands of fentanyl pills a day. A press die set can produce 10 to 50 tablets a minute, designed and pressed to look like candy or FDA-certified medication. All of this is contributing to the fentanyl crisis in the state. And you can expect a showdown in the coming days over a similar bill, which aims to fix drug possession statewide. The version of Blake decision that was just passed the House makes it a misdemeanor to possess and use drugs in a public place. Now, the bill also allocates millions of dollars to drug rehab programs for those who are arrested. The Senate passed a different version of a bill which assigned harsher penalties for those who refuse that treatment. In the newsroom, China Green, Fox 13 News.